if you have a 12 to 14 hour fast, then you're going to garner a lot of the benefits of autophagy. You're going to have changes in your proteins to improve cellular debris uptake, and you're going to have the upregulation of skeletal muscle repair. But when it gets into the delayed food intake in the morning and your fasting window or your eating window is from 12 to like seven, there also has to be the caveat that the food that's in that eating window has to be nutritionally dense. And that isn't a conversation that's been had either. When I say fasting is overstated and one of the worst things for women, it's because people are layering everything on. They want to lose weight or they want to be lighter or they don't feel hungry. And it's all of these more sociocultural cues around it rather than looking at the basic physiology. If you're looking at fasting to garner all of these benefits, then you can't exercise. But if you are exercising, then you are getting a bigger stress on the body that's going to instigate better autophagy and better responses with blood sugar control, metabolic control, cardiovascular outcomes than if you were to do fasting. When you bring them together, they don't benefit each other, especially if you're doing exercise fasted. 